Hi, James. I saw the Batman and on HBO Max, and I mostly liked it. But do you think it's time for Batman to be fun again? Ooh. Thanks for taking my question, Blake. That is a great question. Great I question, watched, Blake. I watched it again as well, and I think, look, you guys, I think the Batman is a very well-made, great movie. It's a great Batman movie. Uh, but when I do watch it, I you know because I just I actually just watched No Way Home like a week ago, and now I watch this, and they're very different movies, obviously. But that begs the question, right? Should Batman go back to being fun? And I like this because you know it, it is an adult movie, and people are like, Oh, I really like the adult side of it, and mm -hmm. blah blah. But at the same time, there's something to be said for fun and for something for well, Steve, for you like taking your kids to go see a movie and enjoying it with them. Yeah. And they can, you know, and there is a fine line. And I think, you know, Andrew, you might even argue that the Batman is fun. I don't know where you're going to, what you're going to say, but I think like the Batman, I think it's a very well-made movie. It was a great movie, but I think it also begs the question, if it was a little bit more fun, would it have reached that billion dollar mark at the theater too? It, it's, I, I really liked it again. I, I think it's a, well-made movie but it's not the fun batman that and the thing is the mcu has really pushed fun on us mm -hmm. and maybe it's not what people want andrew what are your thoughts that is a really great question blake uh fun is tricky because fun really is in the eye of the beholder at the end of the day uh i mean i just watched batman like an hour ago because it's on crave now and i had a blast even though it is a dark, moody, disturbing movie about you're like, killers when, and rats. I'm when like, the rats Yay! when the rats show up, you're like, rip off your shirt. You're like, ah, this yeah. is what I came for. I had a big question mark painted on my chest. I was like a Packers <laughs> fan. It was awesome. Um, so there's going to be fun. I mean, if you look back at Batman 1966, one of my favorite things about that movie is it begins with a message from the filmmaker saying this movie is dedicated to all those out there who just love fun. And I think that's so beautiful because it's like the director is saying, look, we know this movie is just a pile of sugary cheese, but it's fun. So thank you for understanding that and just being along for this candy colored ride with us. Uh, so I love that kind of fun. And I love this Matt Reeves Batman kind of fun. But Blake, I think the fact of the matter is, uh, and it's a sad fact of the matter, but it just seems to be the case right now is Hollywood is not a proactive industry, it's a reactive industry. And we won't see Batman become that kind of fun again in the mainstream until the darker stuff becomes overwhelmingly negatively received. And so far it hasn't. From Batman Begins to now, it's been nothing but positive stuff. Uh, apparently a few people hate Dark Knight Rises. I still don't understand that, but there is that. Uh, so until we get to the point where audiences in general just seem to be sick of the dark, I don't think you're going to see Hollywood change course. But luckily we do get cool stuff like the Lego Batman movie, which is a ton of fun and a really, really good movie. So it's still going to be made. You're just going to have to look a little bit harder for it. You're going to have to be a detective like Batman to find the little fun nuggets because they are still giving them to us. Yeah, we we touched on this kind of s somewhat uh, a few weeks ago where we talked about could they make another Batman movie like the Adam West Batman? Could that exist in today's world? And I think we kind of overwhelmingly said not, not entirely. And it definitely wouldn't be the commercial success that the Batman or the Dark Knight Rises, uh, the Dark Knight series, uh, it, it wouldn't be that as successful as that. But there, you know, there's a niche market for it. Um, like I said, my kids don't have a Batman. You know, when we were when we were all kids, we went and saw Batman and Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman yeah. Robin. We had those movies, but I kid, I, I we watched Batman Begins recently, and that was a little iffy. Um, but they saw a Lego Batman movie, and that was his first big screen Batman movie was Lego Batman. So he loves it, and that's the one he's connected to, and that's the one he's drawn to. Um, but I don't see them making a live action with you know insert actor here and having it be the fun batman that that we're we're talking about here i just i i, I don't see it in today's today's world yeah it's i don't know it's it is a a fine line and you know and i hope to andrew's point and your point i hope they don't panic like we talked about last week warren bros and sony panicking i hope they don't panic because the last time they did that and I love it, but we got Batman Forever, which led to Batman and Robin, which led to the death of Batman for a few years in the theater. 
So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. You don't give a knee jerk reaction. You kind of let it, let it play out. And I look, the Batman was well received. Um, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm curious how it's going to, what the shelf life of the Batman is going to be. I think it's going to be a movie that in 20 years from now, we're going to watch and we're going to be appreciate still. That's how I feel. Um, and I think there's a few superhero movies that I really, really like that. I think the Batman is one of them.